Hey guys, Cookie here with another Helldivers 2 update. Got a good bit of stuff to go over today. I'll be talking about a bit of controversy between the Automatons and the Terminids. We'll get into that. Also, I'm going to be talking about some new leaks, a good bit of them, that have just been released. But first, I'm going to start things off with the Major Order. It is done. It is officially done now. Hellmeyer got liberated yesterday. There is still a full day, basically, worth of time to finish this Major Order, which obviously won't matter since it's already done. But don't worry, 30 35 medals will be awarded to you within 24 hours because the major order is complete. Now with that being complete, there is a bit of a new controversy that has emerged recently on the Reddit. Once that major order became complete, there were two planets that were both under attack and needed to be defended. One was a Terminid planet, which is Oshaune, and one was an Automaton planet, which was Mantis. The controversy that has come out on Reddit has just been the overwhelming number that chose to go to Oshane instead of going to Mantis, which in turn meant Oshane got a lot closer to being completed than Mantis did. Mantis right now still is under robot control and is about 50%. Meanwhile, Oshane is still in a fight right now. There's about seven to eight hours, at least as of recording this, that are left before that fight will be over and it'll be decided what ends up happening. But a lot of the Redditors are upset because the robots are not getting as much attention. Some have even said that this is something the developers are going to have to fix because people prefer to fight terminids instead of automatons but i have another theory and this reddit post here it kind of alludes to what my theory is this is really more to do with the major orders as opposed to people just not wanting to fight automatons i will say in general automatons are more difficult i think personally they're very different than the terminids and i do think maybe there's a slight preference to fight the terminids because i think they're a little bit easier however i think the reason for the big disparity in numbers is simply just because that the major orders have been focused so much on terminated planets recently that people probably got on wanted to look towards the terminated planets to make sure the major order was done saw it was done and then noticed that Oshane was sitting there needing to be liberated so they probably just went directly to there people probably just aren't checking the other side of the map where the automatons are it was not made perfectly clear that mantis was even under attack you can't really see that unless you literally go looking for it so this i don't think is an actually real problem but it's definitely something people are concerned about i think it'll switch sides pretty quickly as soon as the developers start focusing more on the automatons and put major orders towards that which i would expect the next major order will probably be focused on the robots as opposed to the terminids and a slight hint towards that is the new personal order for today which is kill 20 scout striders which is an automaton unit in case you didn't know what the scout striders are those are those things that look like atsts if you're not a star wars fan and don't know what atsts are uh, i'm showing them on the screen those things kill them <laughs> because right now those are the enemies you need to take care of killing 20 of them not the easiest thing in the world but not the hardest either as long as you shoot the guys out of the back they die pretty quickly the store has also been updated for helldivers too there are two new helmet and armor sets one is for the fs11 executioner the other is the cm21 trench paramedic neither of these suits are available in any war bonds so this is the only way you can get them is through the superstore so if you're interested in getting either of those well this is the day to do it also there's a bunch of new leaks the first thing that i'm going to be taking a look at is all these different models that have just been leaked now as they are just models there isn't a whole lot of texture to them so it's a little hard on some of these to tell what they are but it was found in the files so i'm going to look through it and see what i can make out of it the interesting thing about this as you look at these first two images both of them have like these looks like animal teeth kind of on them kind of a hunter primitive style to them i don't think either of these are new weapons in fact i think both of these weapons are in the game i definitely know the pistol is because it, it's just the laser pistol from the last war bond so what this tells me is are they actually going to add cosmetics for weapons because that has obviously is not a part of the game right now this could be something pretty interesting if they do decide to go this way adding weapon skins and stuff because that's what this appears to be unless it's just a different version of the same pistol and it actually shoots differently like it actually does different things hard to tell from this this could be purely cosmetic or this could be a totally different rifle and pistol that do different things they just look the same as uh, rifle and pistol that are already in the game not entirely sure how this will work out but you'll see a trend with these images going towards that hunter primitive style this next image could be one of two things but i'll be honest it's probably a grenade i would be <laughs> what i expect it to be a pretty cool looking grenade i would imagine this is some sort of sticky grenade they'll stick onto an enemy and then blow up that would be my guess there is a slight chance though that this is a melee weapon as somebody who's really looking forward to getting melee weapons 
potentially at some point. A spiked bat of some sort would be pretty cool. However, I'm pretty sure this is a grenade, so I don't want to get people too overly excited, but there's a chance that it's not. There's a chance that it's a melee weapon, but uh, this is the closest thing to a melee weapon in this leak that I've seen. This is one of the more textured and kind of looking ready to go things that is in this leak. It is a new armor set, and I gotta say it looks really, really badass. It's giving me serious uh, Black Panther vibes, which is absolutely awesome. I think the Black Panther is the coolest suit of any superhero, so nothing wrong with that at all. This also goes along with the guns that we saw earlier, so I'm assuming all of this is going to be part of one package, probably part of a war bond. This armor set looks really, really cool. I'd love to have this. It has a nice, cool jungle theme, kind of African style to it. I love it. I, I really, I really would like to add this to my collection. Next up, this also looks like some type of grenade. It kind of looks almost like an RPG, so I don't know if it literally will be a grenade RPG as you just throw in it makes a huge explosion that would be kind of cool uh but hard to get from this texture exactly what kind of grenade that's going to be but it looks like more grenades are going to get added now this pistol actually came with a name called the plaz 3 plasma pistol you could probably notice pretty quickly this looks very very similar to the scorcher which is the final weapon you get in the original war bond on this game this definitely could be very dangerous i'm assuming it's just going to be a pistol version of that gun and the scorcher is still one of the best guns in the game so that uh that that can be extremely dangerous and the pistols need more pistols so totally okay with that speaking of pistols this next leak also seems to be some sort of a pistol it really actually looks a lot like the halo one pistol to me or it might be an attachment that goes onto a gun like a grip or something not entirely sure this next one looks like it could be a new armor set but from what i've heard in the comments to this leak this actually is something from helldivers one it actually looks a lot like the sergeant from helldivers one that you interact with so it is possible adding new npcs maybe to the ship maybe Maybe you'll have somebody that's outfitted this way because the hat definitely gives off, you know, sergeant vibes or, you know, higher commander vibes in the military. This is not giving me major vibes of something that a hell diver would wear into battle, but you never know. Hats would be an interesting thing to add to the experience. I don't know if they'll go that route, but this is probably an NPC is my guess. And then this last one is also a significant interest. It, it does appear that this is the new sample that will come with the Illuminate faction. That's what I've heard from some of the comments and from the the leaker himself this looks to be the new sample that we'll be looking for when we are fighting with the illuminate or on illuminate infested planets there was another leak that showed an image of a new planet and it's green it's an acidic primordial planet we already talked about there being leaks about acid storms and stuff of that nature this definitely seems to go along with that so this planet looks really really badass it's giving a lot of venus vibes to be honest but i'm pretty sure all that greenness on the planet is not a forest I believe it's going to be super acidy, super poisony looking, probably a very nasty place to be. Perfect place for a Helldiver. There have been a bunch of new gameplay leaks from different leaks of stuff that we have seen in the past, but now get to actually see it in action. First off, there's a guy who got footage of the different vehicles that are going to be coming to the game. It looks like both of the ones that we expect to have, including the one that's kind of like a Warthog from Halo. As you can see in this clip, it's just the driver, so we don't get any look of what it would li be like to have multiple multiple hell divers in the vehicle at once however we do get a good taste of how difficult it is to drive because as you can notice at the bottom of the screen there is a gear shift to it so in classic hell divers fashion this will not be the most fun and easy swift ride to have especially with terminids and automatons bearing down on you this uh, this is not going to be as easy as maybe people would have thought so an interesting little dynamic to add gear shifting to it we can also see on the other more heavily armored vehicle uh, again only get to see the driver here but again the gear shift is involved in this as well so a little added difficulty dynamic but it'll be interesting to see just how good this thing does with it fully equipped with hell divers it's got guns on the top of it it's got a turret on top of it as well so it looks like four hell divers could be on this at once so this could be really really exciting i am very interested to see how they balance this overall though next there's a bit of gameplay of the emancipator exosuit this is the new mech that we will be getting here soon 
this mech just basically has two auto cannons on either side and as opposed to the machine gun and the rocket launcher that the current mech has so this is kind of an interesting balancing between the two it does a lot of damage you don't get to see a lot in the gameplay of it fighting big creatures it just kind of fights small stuff but it obviously obliterates small stuff it would be nice to see how it would do against a charger or bile titan or against a tank or something but for now you need to get an idea of just how much power this thing has a couple of leaked weapon gameplay as well we see the mls 4x commando there's been a little bit of leaked gameplay of this before but this shows a more comprehensive amount of gameplay and i think what i get from this gameplay the most is just how good this rocket launcher is at being kind of like a sniper rifle taking out shrieker nests from far away taking out spores from far away or outposts this could be a very good option for that it also has an option which isn't so much like a mortar sniper kind of a gun it's it's more of just a straight up rocket launcher so you could change it to that as well and the last gameplay comes for the mg 206 heavy machine gun i don't see how this is significantly different than the machine guns that are already in the game but it does have medium armor penetration it also has three different modes of fire that you can go for and a very very slow reload which is pretty similar to the current machine guns but it does give you a couple different options might feel a lot different when you actually play with it okay guys so that is today's helldivers 2 update hope you guys learned some things got something out of it if you did please smash that like button for us it helps us out a lot leave a comment about what you think of any of the topics that we talked about in today's video be sure to subscribe if you haven't before and hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss out on any future helldivers 2 content and we will see you in the next video bye bye for now